program. In the past seven months, we've given away over $2,600,000 in houses, cash and price. Today, on our celebrity special, these two couples will add to that incredible total. This is Donna and Dan Fleckner. Today, they make their second attempt to win this beautiful Hamilton home. And this is Patricia and Daryl Sanders. They're playing for the handsome Casaloma model. And now, here is the man with the key to your dream house, Mr. Bob Eubanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome to Dream House. We're so glad you could join us today. We've had all kinds of exciting things happen around here this week. Today, like every day, one of our two couples will have a chance to win their fabulous Dream House by trying to open those golden doors back behind me. We have champions. They won yesterday for the first time. Let's welcome them now, Dan and Donna Kleckner. Welcome back to our show. Hi, Dan. First of all, congratulations. You won over $6,600 yesterday you. in cash and prizes. And I know you were up there saying, I can't believe this is happening to you. Can you believe this is happening to us? My goodness. All right, you've got the furniture, or you've at least got one room. Mm -hmm. What house would you like to put that furniture in? Hamilton. The Hamilton. Here mm -hmm. is your house then, Johnny. Donna and Dan have chosen the beautiful Hamilton home, which opens into a formal entry and plushly carpeted living room. Master bedroom and baths with oak wood cabinets are but a few of the amenities in this gracious house built by U.S. Home. Okay, Bob. Thank you, John. Now, all this week, what we've done is we've invited some celebrities to join us here on Dream House, and we have two very fine people, and by a flip of a coin backstage, that's how we decide which celebrity plays with what team. Would you like to meet your celebrity yes, teammate? Yes, I would. He's the man that everybody knows as Mr. Drummond on Facts of Life. Would you say, did I say Facts of Life? Yeah. I did say that, didn't I? <laughs> Different strokes? <laughs> Sorry <laughs> about that. Welcome and say hi to my friend Conrad Bain. <laughs> Dan and Donna, we're going to do it. You look nothing like Charlotte Ray. I just want you to know that. <laughs> we were talking about Charlotte Ray earlier, and then yeah. I had it in my mind. How long have you, have you been doing different strokes? Six years. This is the sixth year. And, and Gary Coleman has to be one of the most talented people in the world. I mean, oh, he's an incredible young man. He really is, yeah. And I can remember years ago, the two of us did a game show together at that time, and you said that, that not only is he incredible, but he's a loving little fellow. And, and oh, yeah, he's affectionate and considerate and unusual human being. That's great. By any measure. That's great. Well, they, these people right here, as you know, you were here yesterday. Mm -hmm. They won uh, a beautiful room of furniture, and what they mm -hmm. want to do is to try to win a house. And it's up to you to win that house for them. Going to do it. No pressure at all. <laughs> no. <laughs> I like that. Nice to have you with us. Let's meet nice the new challengers. Here. This is Patricia and Daryl Sanders. Hi. 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 What a nice looking couple you are. Thank you. Thank you. Where do you live? Uh, Culver City, California. Okay. And do you work? Uh, yes. I'm a... Uh, Government employee pro tem, kind of a temporary layoff there. Aren't we all? Yeah. <laughs> you ought to be a game show host. You want to be on a layoff temporary. <laughs> I mean, to tell you, I buy everything on a 13-week contract. <laughs> if you're trying to buy a car, you walk in, you say, I'd like to buy a car. Okay, how many years you want? I want 13 weeks. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? I work for a supermarket. Oh, great. Do you have children? No, no, we don't have any children now. How many are we going to have? Two would be enough. Boy, more can more I tell you, enough. that would be plenty. <laughs> yes, I more promise you enough. that. Now, which house would you like to... How is these little kids in? Uh, we're playing for the Castle Loma. The Castle Loma. Here's your house right here. Patricia and Darrow have picked this charming ranch-style model, the Castle Loma. It features large picture windows, an extensive living room, a cathedral ceiling, a classic kitchen with breakfast bar, and a lovely master bedroom and bath. Built by U.S. Home. Bob? Thank you, John. Now, I want you to meet your celebrity partner because this lady also is on Different Strokes. One of the stars of Different Strokes, she plays the housekeeper Pearl Gallagher. Say hi, if you would, please, to Mary Jo Catlin. And here she is. Patricia and Daryl Sanders. You're meeting for the very first time, and they're very anxious to win this house. Well, good. You did good yesterday. Well, I had a good time. Didn't we have a good time? <laughs> Let me ask you a personal question. Do, do you enjoy the role that you're playing uh, on different shows? I love it. Yeah. I just love it. Does everybody get along? I mean, you, you've seen how we argue around here. You know, I'm temperamental. <laughs> you know how it is. Terrible thing. Well, uh, four out of the five of us get along. Oh, I'm sorry, Connie. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. 
He doesn't argue with anybody. He's wonderful. I know. Well, anyway, it, I think it shows, when you're around people like this, it shows the kind of an atmosphere that's on a show. And it's nice to have you with us. Okay, they're going to try to win a house, and I know that Conrad and his team want to try to win a house, and there's two ways that a couple can win a brand new home here on Dream House. Either they win it instantly at the end of our show, or if they play our Dream House game, win it six days in a row, then the house is automatically theirs. And every day our couples are competing for cash and a fabulous room of furniture. Here's the pretty Debbie Bartlett to show you why all the pretty Johnny Gilbert tells you about the room that one of our couples will win today. Here it is. Okay. It's a Dream House Den, valued at $5,439. Isn't that nice? That's the couple with the highest score at the end of the first round. Also wins a decorator baker's rack and kitchen appliances. You've met all of our couples. You've met the celebrities. You know what the prizes are. We'll be back to see who can win what right after this. Now we're ready to play our game. Everybody ready to do this? We're going to start off with a with a fifty dollar true or false question. If you get it right, you get fifty dollars and a chance to pick a category. But if you miss the true or false question, then the money goes to the other team and they get a chance to pick a category. Whatever you do, don't ring in until I've completed the question. And in round one, only three categories, and it's the celebrities and the wives that will be controlling the button. So if everybody is ready, here we go. True or false? In the Italian language, the word Italy means shaped like a boot. True or false? Patricia. True. No, that's false. That's oh, false. Sorry. It means grazing land. <laughs> Italy means grazing land. I thought so. Yes. <laughs> You're smart. Oh, boy. That means the $50 <laughs> comes to your side, the chance to pick a category. And now, if you would, please, gang, take a look at the categories we're playing for in round one. As I said, only three categories per round. Take a deep breath. Roll model for kids and popping the question. Conrad and gang, pick a category. Let's what take a deep breath. Take a deep okay. breath. Okay. You could use one. Take a deep <laughs> Careful. <laughs> For $100. Experts refer to it as the hee-hee breathing. Is it the kind of breathing you do when you're laughing hysterically, doing aerobics, or practicing natural childbirth? The hee-hee breathing. What do you think? Practicing natural childbirth. How many children do you have? None, but I'm a nurse. Oh. <laughs> You've been practicing. Yes. Did you know what hee-hee is? No, no. I thought it was a television show from Nashville, but I guess it's not. That's only Let's part see. of it. <laughs> if you want to challenge, each couple gets a chance to challenge twice in the first round. Do you wish to challenge their practicing natural childbirth answer? Yeah. We're having such discussions yeah. over no. here. Challenge or not? I think so. Uh-oh. Uh okay, we're challenged. We're, we're going to challenge. challenge. What's your answer, please? I'm doing aerobics. Doing aerobics. Doing aerobics. Right. I go, uh-uh, when I do aerobics. <laughs> Not hee-hee. Hee-hee breathing is the kind of breathing you do when you're practicing natural childbirth. $100 for the correct answer, $50 for their incorrect challenge. $200 for our champion, zero for our challenger. Everybody ready? True or false? Here we go. On three separate occasions, Sarah Lee actually dated Chef Boyardee. True or false down there? Uh, Donna. False. Yeah, that's false. <laughs> uh, four occasions. What a silly question, you know? I mean, after all. But let's face it, that if Conway Twitty married, uh, married Kitty Wells, her name would be Kitty Twitty. <laughs> That's true. You never thought about that. No, I, I'm glad I didn't. Pick it. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry I did. Yeah. If Corbett Monica married Santa Berger, her name would be Santa Monica. <laughs> Pick a category. Uh, what do you oh. like? Popping the question? Sure. Popping the, the question. question. Popping the question. I'll be the announcer for them. Okay, fine. Good. Did you propose to your wife? Did she propose to you? Oh, I proposed to her. No kidding. Yeah. Old fashioned. Oh, very. Yes. I'm yes. old. How, you've got to be. But you're in fashion. You're looking yes. fine. According to a recent survey reported in the World Weekly News, where is the favorite place for a smitten suitor to pop the question? Do 52% of marriage proposals occur in a car, in a romantic restaurant, or between the sheets? What do you think? 52%. You're a little, okay, you've got the 37 years. We got it 10 months. Yeah, but I, it's so long since I proposed, I've forgotten what I did. So. <laughs> Romantic restaurant. Yeah. You say in a romantic mm -hmm. restaurant. Let's see if they wish to challenge. Daryl, Patricia, and Mary Jo, do you want to challenge that answer? Yes. They say it's in a restaurant. Yes. There goes your last challenge, and uh -oh. what's your answer? Between the sheets. I don't believe they said that. Yes. Fifty-two percent of all marriage proposals occur between the sheets. <laughs> Yeah. Is that where it was? Did he? Uh, yeah. yeah Found out. Didn't even have to ask. Okay. <laughs> true or false? Okay. One category, one toss up remains. Here we go. True or false? In New York City, a United States senator was recently mugged right in front of the police commissioner's house. True or false? Patricia. True. Yeah, that is true. That's right. Right in front of that commissioner's house. His name is Christopher Dodd. Mugged right there in front of the policeman's house. 
Now, you have $150. There's one category remaining. You can tie the game up with a correct answer right here. This is the last of round one, so it's important. <laughs> role model for kids. When the American Psychological Association met to examine the role that fantasy and cartoons play in child development, they picked the character they considered to be an excellent role model. Was the subject of their symposium Charlie Brown, Mickey Mouse, or Superman? For one hundred dollars, a chance to tie the game. The American Psychological Association. Who do you think? Answer, please. Mickey Mouse. For some reason, Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse is your answer. Let's see if they wish to challenge. They say Mickey Mouse was the perfect role model for children. Okay, we'll go with it. You challenging? Yeah. Oh boy. And your answer, please. Go ahead. Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown. <gasps> if it's Charlie Brown, that means that Dan and Donna and Conrad will win round, will win round Run, one. Round whoa, one. whoa, whoa. <laughs> if it's Mickey Mouse, Patricia, Daryl, and Mary Jo will win round one because they'll get $100 plus 50 for an incorrect challenge. So this is it. This is for the winners of round one. The subject of their symposium was... Mickey Mouse! <laughs> and that means the three... Patricia and Daryl, for your family's pleasure in your den, you've just won this attractive 76 inch baker's rack for decorative display or practical use, furnished by the Antique Guild. And you may serve refreshments in the den with Hamilton Beach Kitchen Appliances, featuring the six feet food processor and 12 cup automatic drip coffee maker with brew start clock and timer, furnished by Hamilton Beach Scoville. It's a total retail value of $576, and it's all yours on Dreamhouse. Congratulations to you. Nice prize, even round one, but this is still anybody's game in round two when we come back that's when the dollars can double in one of the categories and one of our couples will win that great room of furniture and a chance to win their dream house we'll be back for that right after these words We're about to begin round two now. And our champions over the Kleckners. They have $250. They almost won round one. They're only $50 behind. Conrad Bain is their celebrity teammate. And on the other side, our challengers are Daryl and Patricia Sanders. They just won round one with Mary Jo Catlett as their celebrity teammate. Now we're going to begin round two. And in round two, I want to remind everybody that we give our couples a chance to double their dollars in one of the categories. And these are the categories that we're playing for in our second round. Here they come. Growing field. Pass the veggies, jack of all flags. We're only using three categories all week long. Once again, each couple has a chance to challenge twice. These are your challenge cards. Good luck to you, and here we go. True or false question? A marriage counselor in California's high-tech Silicon Valley says that most marriages break up there due to hubby's undying love for his computer over his wife. True or false? Mary Jo? True. That is true, yes. Yay! Yes. Have to compete with a computer would be a heck of a deal, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Now, those are the three categories, so Daryl, Patricia, and Mary Jo, pick a category. Pass the Which veggies. Pass, Pass the veggies. Pass the veggies. Pass like the veggies. Pineapple. Remember, you can double your dollars in one of the categories. Which of these vegetables traces its roots back to the Bronze Age? Would you like to double your dollars on this one? You have 350, they have 250. Which of these vegetables traces its roots back to the Bronze Age? No pun intended no. there. No. No. Not going to double your dollars on it. Right. Is it? The Jerusalem artichoke, the pea, or the potato? The potato. The potato? You want to go? I bet you're right. Let's try that. Okay. The answer, potato. please. Potato. The, the potato. potato. Let's see if they want to challenge. How about it? Dan, Don, and Conrad, you wish to challenge their answer for $100. Do you have any idea? <laughs> well, traces its I roots back to the, the Bronze potato. Age. Challenge or not? Tell me if you want to challenge or not. How much are you? No. Not going to challenge? Fine. Here we go. The vegetable that traces its roots back to the Bronze Age is the pea. Oh. No one wins any money on that one. Let's go to another one then. True or false? For 1984, there's a pinup calendar which features a look at male celebrities' buns. True or false, Donna? Uh, excuse me, Dan. The husbands are playing with the celebrities this time, Dan. True. That is true, yes. I don't know. I'm really upset. Oh. They asked Bruce Jenner and Ed Marinaro from Hill Street Blues, did they go to you and ask to see a picture of your buns? Yes. They did? Oh, no, I'm really I, wouldn't, upset. I, I wouldn't show them. <laughs> no, no, they didn't. No, really they, upset because they, they didn't ask me a thing no, about that. <laughs> $300 for you guys. They have $350. Pick a category. Which you one? Like? Well, let's pick. Uh, I, if, I, if it was my selection, I'd say growing. Growing field. Growing field. All right. Remember, you can double your dollars. The Bureau of Labor Statistics says this is the fastest growing profession in America. 
what is the job? Double your bucks or not? No, I don't think so. No. Not going to no. double your dollars? Okay. What's the fastest growing profession in America? Is it computer programmer, paralegal, or aerobics instructor? Is it computer programmer? Mm. Answer, please. Speak up real loud for me, gang. I'd say computer say? programmer. Computer programmer. Let's see if there's a challenge over here. Daryl, Patricia, and Mary Jo, do you wish to challenge that answer? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You are going to challenge it. Your answer is what? Aerobics instructor. Aerobics instructor. The fastest growing profession in America is a paralegal. Oh, Again. No one wins any money. We have $300 for our champions, $350 for our challengers. One toss-up question, one category remains. True or false? 89% of all the land in Alaska is owned by Eskimos. True or false, Daryl? False. That is false. You're right about that. And now you have $400. They have $300. One category remains. Jack of all flags. Neither couple has used their double dollar. Here's the question. That familiar design on the British flag is called the Union Jack. On which of our United States flags would you also find the Union Jack design? Is it on the state flag of which state? So tell me, would you like to make this your double dollar or not? We will double the dollar. Here. Double your bucks. Mm -hmm. This is for double the dollars. Everybody understand? Yep. On which of our United States flags would you also find the Union Jack design? Is it on the state flag of Hawaii, Virginia, or Massachusetts? Yeah, um, I believe it is. It's not Hawaii. It's, uh, Let's say Virginia. 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 Answer, please. Virginia. Virginia, Virginia is mm -hmm. your answer. You wish to challenge. Yes, we you are going to challenge in your answer. Massachusetts. Massachusetts, Massachusetts and Virginia. Mm -hmm. This is for the game, ladies and gentlemen. The Union Jack design is found on the state flag of Hawaii. <laughs> no one wins any money on that one, and we've got new champions. <laughs> Dale and the Christmas Sandals with $400. It's just one your first day. Thank you so very much. We end up winning over almost $7,000, really. And thank you very much for joining us. All right, champions, here's what you just won. Take a look at this one. It's a dream house den, starting with Key City Furniture's love seat and the multicolored patchwork covering, a hand-rubbed flat finished mahogany legs, plus a coordinating chair and a complimenting fabric with a gathered skirt furnished by Key City Furniture. Next, so that you may stay warm and cozy in your den, it's Blaze King's catalytic wood stove, designed to cut air pollution, reduce creosote buildup, and release more heat from every pound of wood you burn, furnished by Blaze King. And to light your den, Wiesel's Colonial Charm Collection, the glass is hand-blown and hand-decorated. Lighting to add elegance to any room in your home, exclusively furnished by Quizel. Next, you may watch your favorite program in your den on Quasar's new 13-inch portable television. Features customatic tuning and super color system furnished by Quasar. To complete your den for storage or display, it's Merrillat's Oak Modular Shelving System. It uses a roll-top desk for a functional work-study area. Furnished by Merrillat Industries. It's a dream house den worth five thousand four hundred and thirty nine dollars. We'll be right back to see if we find trouble in the dream house right after these words. Back to Greenhouse, the Sanders, our new champions. They've just won their first game, beautiful room of furniture. Now they want to win their dream house, and here's the house they're playing for. Patricia and Daryl are playing for the lovely Casa Loma home. It has a kitchen with many built-in extras, a large living area, two bedrooms, plus a master bedroom suite and deluxe master bath built by U.S. Home. Bob? Thank you, John. Now, Patricia and Daryl, if you would, please take a look at our electronic lock, because programmed into it is a combination of three numbers that will open the golden doors. One number's in the top row, one number in the middle row, one number in the bottom row. Now, today's winning combination is sealed right here in this packet. Every day you return to the electronic lock, we take away one number that's not in the combination. Not going to take a number off now, but I'll give you a chance to take three off by answering some questions in one of these categories. And here are the categories that you must choose from. New Orleans, the U.S. Constitution, or Clint Eastwood? Pick one, please. New, New Orleans. Orleans. Are you from New Orleans? <laughs> He is. All right. Here are, is the first question. Now, every time you get one right, a number comes off the lock. There's a historic section of New Orleans that's one of the most famous districts in the city. Is it called the French Quarter or the Latin Quarter? The French Quarter. Well, of course it is. <laughs> right off the top row comes a number. One of the largest indoor stadiums in the world is in New Orleans. Is it the King Dome or the Superdome? The Superdome. Super Aren't these easy <laughs> for you, huh? Sure. Now the middle row will take a number. Because of its location on the Mississippi River, what is the nickname of New Orleans? Is it the Bayou City or the Crescent City? The Crescent City. You got them all three right. <laughs> Good for you. Now, it's time now to try for the winning combination. Mary Jo, join us, please, for a little luck for your teammates. As you know, it takes a three-number combination to open the golden doors. The first number is either the four, the six, or the seven. Which one do you think it is, Patricia? The second number is either the four, the six, or the zero. 
finally the third number to open the golden doors to your dream house, the eight, the three, or the one. Okay, the combination you've chosen, the six, the six, the three, has now been locked into our security system. It cannot be changed. If that is today's winning combination, the golden doors will light up and they will open. Good luck to you and push the time release bar. Six, three. Reset the lock if you could, please. Let's see how close you came. Not close at all. We needed a seven, a zero, and a one today. Push the time release bar. They would have lit up. They would have opened. We'll add up all of their winnings. We'll be right back right after this. That's all the time we have for today. Our thanks to Conrad and Mary Jo, the whole gang, and we'll see you tomorrow on Bob Eubanks and Debbie Bartlett and Johnny Gilbert saying thanks for watching Dreamhouse. Bye-bye. Departing Greenhouse couples will receive introducing Ragu's Pizza Quick Complete Pets for Pizza. Everything you need for pizzeria good pizza at home. Just open a box of pizza quick kit and open your own pizzeria. For hearty homemade soup, serve your family soup starter tonight. Just add meat, simmer, and serve soup starter. All the fixings for great homemade soup. And pro rough tooth polish with a special stain removal formula invented by a dentist to help keep teeth their whitest. Go for the action, go for the stars, go for it all on the fast-paced celebrity word game, Go! Next! And tomorrow morning on Today, Hollywood legend Jimmy Stewart, actress Mariel Hemingway, and find out why gold is a good investment now. Be there.